Hello, we're back. Hello, test, test. You guys see me? Press F5, guys. No more spammy. No more rip spam. Press F5. It's all you have to do, and we'll be back. I can't believe it. I can't believe this is going on. All these crashes we've been having in. I thought that it's swapping to that other thing. I get that for some, there's something about OBS and the way I have it set up right now. It does not like scene switching. It doesn't like scene switching. And I have to switch, switch the scene whenever the guild crashes. Let's try this. Let's leave the squad this time. And let's go into the hall and see what happens this time. So, uh, and I'll, I'll try a combo, actually, of different things. We're going to leave the squad and we're going to go to an alternate waypoint. But the alternate waypoint we're going to go to is the most remote one I can think of, which would be the surface tunnel one. So we'll go here and we'll try again. Yeah, if you guys want to see, all you have to do... It, oh, we got in! Oh, it could have been because of the squad then. It could have been because of the squad. We have a dev in our chat? Really? What dev do we have in our chat? Look away, dev. Your game isn't broken. Please, raise decoration caps. C clearly, we should assume that whoever this dev is is uh, responsible for decoration stuff. All right, leaving the squad might have been the ticket. It might have been what it was. You guys see me? You hear me? We're good? Can we get back to decorating now? I think we can. Armor enhanced. All right, good. Hello, guys. Hello, hello, hello. Yeah, thank you for doing the personal story nightbot thing. These are not the jokes you're looking for. Okay. Uh, so I'm not actually in that squad anymore, which is kind of unfortunate. But hey, all right. Well, uh, I don't want to be playing on ugly mode then. If the squad issue was the issue, then let's go back to best appearance, right? Because why not? Um, but no post-process. I don't like post-process in here. Post-process, can go attack itself. Also, SMAA doesn't matter really very much at this resolution. All right, there we go. I think we're good. Except perhaps LOD distance. All right, cool. <clears throat> uh, so we're good now. All right, all right, all right. Let's go back to what we were doing. Now, we've got the Jade platforms, right? So the idea is we're going to do what uh, that boy Kevin did. I think it was that boy Kevin. Whoever it was for the way up, but to the floating islands. But instead of SAB platforms, we're going to use Jade platforms. The Jade platforms, I wish they were bigger. If they were about 50% bigger, which is quite a considerable amount. If they are about 50% bigger, they'd be so much more fit for purpose. Ah, all those platforms. That's even better. Yeah, that's even better than the Jade platforms. Oh, you guys. This is good. All right, then the only other modification that I want to make then. Well, first of all, I kind of want this to be directly above, above the center. Um... So maybe we should try that. I really want that to be directly above. Uh, let's double click this here. Alright, it's good. We're here now, guys. You tried Launch Buddy yesterday, but the auto login didn't work. I set up two accounts. Yeah, I've actually stopped using Launch Buddy. I don't know what it is about it, but it seems to be a bit un unstable or weird. I don't know. I'm sorry, Grey Fox. I can't really help. Um, what did he just say in chat? It's straight up. If it's straight above, it's hard to land. Yeah. Okay. I see, I, I see what you're saying. Because the arc wouldn't quite work very well, would it? Um, well, the thing I did want to do, right, was I wanted to, to go and put a monument on here. Which is a signpost, okay. Ah, oh, this is weird. It's weird that... It's weird decorating when you're holding an environmental weapon. I don't know what to call... I don't know what to call this theme, the Floating Islands. I want to call it Floating Islands, because that's like the end of Tomb Raider 2. Uh, I've been very ugly with my capitalization here as well. I'm going to do it that way. There we go. Um, there, like that. So people can come here and they can hit the, the signpost. And that that's all pretty good, right? Like that way, um, there's very few decorations. So, people should be able to use Okar Essence 1, 2, 3. It should be as easy as possible, right? Uh, to do it. So, with that said, now we can start getting rid of these wedges, right? Because this is more efficient, and this is all saving us on decoration cap. And all of this can be used now to build, like, a floating icy mountain, or giant floating igloo, or, or, or something like that, right? So, this is, this is pretty good. The guy's done very well. Oh, shit. Um, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. What's this? Yo, WP, I can get into the hall, but as soon as I get close to the center, I crash. Maybe try lowering your settings. 
I'm sorry. Do you want to rebuild it, Diok? I, I, I'll move the building project to you from here on. I'm sorry. All right, let's uh, climb up. Remember, guys, we need as much oak heart essence as well for this to work. So now I want to see. Uh, let's let's climb, right? Let's see how this works. The other thing I kind of want, I kind of don't want be people to be able to latch onto anything else. I want this to be like the only place you can kind of go. But maybe that's a bit crazy of me. Is that a bit weird? Should we have a signpost at the bottom as well? Let's have a signpost over uh, d over here. There you go. Look to the skies. All right, cool. So here we go. We're going to try and climb out of the hall now using this new route. Well, I don't I don't like that platform there. Well, I suppose it kind of works. It feels sort of off center, but it, like I, I I want the feeling to be like it's almost like an elevator, like we just go up and up and up and up, like not to the side. Can we move this this one like over a bit? Do you know what I mean? Like like this ring, this ring of walls, what if all the platforms were like directly above it the whole way up, following like this light shaft? Can we do that? Does Diok want to do that? Like move these slightly? I'll say that on stream and maybe he's heard, maybe he, he likes the idea. Also, this is far too, th th that's not, that, that's not necessary. This one could be higher, couldn't it? How much higher could this one be? Yeah, he is moving. Okay, that's fine. But like, look, th this next one isn't even necessary, right? We can just go straight up. Boom. Oh, almost. If it was repositioned slightly. So I, I'm going to delete this one here, the one in the middle. We don't need it. Because we, we're we just going to climb. And it'll be obvious where to go. Uh, and we're going to delete both things as well. We're going to delete the essence that's on it and the platform itself. <laughs> it's just a random floating tree now. How do we get the essence off? How do we... How do we... Oh dear, what? Because it's not tangible. Shit, what do we do there? Hold on, let me build out to it, I guess. This is really weird. You can tell I do a lot more scribing than decorating, right? Like, if we use the big eraser there now. There we go. Good. <clears throat> can I check my Guild Wars 2 mails? Uh, yeah, sure. If it's... If they're invites to Spud, we're full at the moment. I'm not going to process invites. We've got two slots, but I think we've also got two invites going right now. So I can't get people in right now, unfortunately. Oh, we have a, a message about Spirit Shards. I forgot to say during the stream that some maps give shards as event rewards. Yeah, we have to figure that out for, for the Legendary Hunt. We have to figure that out. Can we have monument rights? Uh, yeah, actually. Good, good, good point. I'll give people monument rights. Hold on. Ranks. I forgot that that was a separate thing. Wait, where's monuments? Oh, monument decorator. There it is. Sprout. Spud. Ultra Spud. There you go. You guys can place monuments now. <clears throat> okay. Uh, all right. So let's let's go back down now. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Really good. Exactly. Just like that. Yeah. Diok, yes. You got it, man. You got it. All right. Here we go. So, Okai Essence. It's great that you can hold a Okai Essence without actually kicking you out of decorate mode as well. All right. So that's one. Uh-oh, new map. Oof, oof, no! Oh, why? Damn it. Damn it. Yeah, the crash fiesta did kill the views a little bit then. Alright, we'll try again here. Alright, let's go back to the waypoint. Grab Oakheart's Essence, and now we'll move up. We'll get to the floating islands again in a second, guys. Alright, so we can't go right onto the, the, the cube. The, the corner, sorry. We need to go, like, on the edge like that, I guess. Is that good enough? Ooh. It's almost like a little game to get up. I don't know whether that's a good idea or not. Ooh. Oh, yeah, baby. Yeah. Okay, this one's a little bit weirdly positioned. I, I, look, I trust Diok. Diok knows what's up. He knows how, 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 how to work this. So these are probably a little bit... Wow. Okay, so that's... 
essentially what we have to do is we need to walk here and then we need to go up uh, we don't need an essence on this platform remember use as few as possible because this is global cap and it's local cap so get rid of the essence on this platform we didn't need this did we uh, and now this one's here We just want them as spaced out and as efficient as possible. Alright, I think that's good enough. I, I will delete the wedges now. I'm going to delete the... Unless he wants them to keep... Re I'll leave the wedges, I guess, because he might need those to, you know, position that stuff perfectly. Um, but then what do we do when we get to the top, right? Like, this is the, the, the next question. Like, this isn't too good as a, as a top. This island's kind of cool, I suppose. That's slightly out of range, though. So we, we probably want another thing higher up, don't we? We want like one more higher. So I'll keep going with the wedges on the top end here. And we'll um and we'll build like some kind of landing pad at the top with monuments saying, Welcome to the floating islands. Here's uh you know here's what you can expect or I don't know, something like that. I'm not very creative. So we'll go wedge, large wedge. We've got thirty three. Let's just use all thirty three to cl just climb really high, right? We'll just build the staircase much higher. And I'll, I'll put it a little bit closer as well to the uh, the platforms here. It's getting night. This area looks a lot worse, in my opinion, at night. But hey. Barely landing on the edge like that strangely reminded you of the old TR games. Especially last Revelation rope swinging. Oh god, the rope swing was awful in that game. Like, really bad. There's a bit at the catacombs where you have to do, like, three in a row. And it's just the worst bloody thing. Oh god. Alright, let's just keep climbing. See, what I like about building with these wedges is, is, like, you know you're always getting the maximum height. Like, unless you place it down the slope, right? As long as you're on the top ridge of the slope, you know that every time it will be traversable, you will be able to climb. So we're just going to keep going. What I want to do is hit the point. Actually, it is quite pretty up here, isn't it? Jesus. I'm going to win at night, I mean. I want to hit the point where the skybox gets cold away. So uh it's it's a little bit higher than the trees like you see that staircase that dude made over there that's uh that's where we want look at this this is good the thing is guys the islands shouldn't just be functionally islands like this put clouds under them and stuff so that they because that just looks you know like we we don't want it to look like uh you know a, a cs jump map where it's just random shit has been dumped everywhere. They should look like floating sky islands. So I think we should decorate the like the undersides of them as best we can with clouds and things. Like don't neglect like the aesthetic of it. Do you get what I mean? That's cool. Someone built like a floating house or something there. So anyway, I think that maybe like somewhere around here should be like the top or where we welcome people. I don't know because that person's made that cool like floating. This is cool. This is really interesting. We need a spider tato? A spider tato. Oh gosh. Alright. So maybe like, um, that guy's just trying to get himself caught, is he? So maybe like, I don't know, here or something? I don't know. Let's just keep going up. And we'll let people riff off of it and do what they like from here. But what, what, what the other interesting thing to think about is we need to find a good technique for building a super island in terms of, like, not overlapping the platforms too much with one another. And I'm not quite sure what that technique would be. CS maps just got shit dumped around all over the place. That's what they look like. See, uh, no, not CS maps. CS jump maps. You know? Where you where the goal is to climb all the way to the top or whatever. If you've never played one, then you're missing out, my friends. So this is like our our initial stairway, I guess, all the way up. Maybe Dioc can build the uh, the thing to come all the way here. I kind of want to make the Jade Island with the the waves and things. There you go. Look. So you see how the lighting just changed at this point. See how it changed? And if you look, right? Look at look look far away. Here, you get this. You can see stuff, right? When you climb up, you can't. It gets cold away because we're, like, way up, right? Do you see this? Look at that house. That is cool. Whoever built that all the way out there? Holy shit, that looks sweet. That's cool. Um, but, yeah, so this is, this is, like, you know. So you can build islands that, like, play with this. 
It reminds me a lot of like, you know Terraria where you're like exploring left to right and the backgrounds change? It's just like that, right? So like this is the kind of area I think most of the island should be around this height so that you can have like a mountain on your island that changes the skybox and stuff at that point. You can't sub. Twitch is asking for additional security via tied to your bank and you use a small town bank that does not update that frequently. I don't know how to get around this. Oh, dude, that's really unfortunate, but don't feel too stressed out by that. I really love the thought. Thank you very much, but it's, it's perfectly okay if you don't sub. We're just chilling out here today anyway. So, what should we do then, guys? I would say, by the way, now that we have this here, um, we, we can get rid of those other... Oh, we're out of large wedges at this point. We can probably get rid of these wedges here and just put some oak heart essence at the top of this. And this can be sort of how people get around, right? So, uh, let's see here. What What's the... what What's it called? The floor just works, right? So, rec room tile floor, right? So, if we put a tile floor here, this might be the top of where Diok eventually builds all the way up to with his rec room things. And then if we go essence... See, there's only three left. Guys, we really need essences. Ugh. If anyone is feeling uh, generous. So there you go. There's an essence there, right? And now from here, we're up, right? Oh, no! Oh! But this is cool. Look at this. Look how cool this is. All right? Best part of Flashpoint. It wasn't the lore. It wasn't any, any of the other stuff. It was the mastery and the bringing of the mastery to the guild halls. Look at this. It's not, like it's not even the same game anymore. Combined with, like, gliding. Oh. I just wanted to make it to his island. We failed. Alright, anyway, so there you go. I'm going to go down now, and I'm going to start deleting these wedges. Like, this this, this bridge of wedges here as well, out of the top of the tree. So spectacular and stupendous. The teal colour? What, from the background? I think it changes based on whether it's night versus day. Um... So yeah, let's, uh... Because the idea should be, right, the roots up should be as minimal as possible, as minimalist as possible. Like, there's no stairways up, there's no, like, climb walkable way up. It's, like, purely oak heart essence, like, to climb up kind of thing. We should feel like this, this world, this land is totally separated and, and different from everywhere else. Do you, do you know what I mean? So, like, we can build treehouse-style stuff, sure. But yeah, so like this. And I wouldn't put an essence on every single one, by the way. Because you get three charges with an essence. This one essence could get you three leaps across. Um, but yeah, okay. So, we got that. What is that floating random little torch there? Can I get that? Out of range? Out of range for the eraser? What are you talking about? Oh, we got it, we got it, we got it, nice. Uh, so that's that's the main way up right now. Yeah, so this was the other thing I wanted to show, guys. These, right? This guy's obviously doing a snow world here, and that's cool. But the snow makers, if you place these correctly, these can be like the clouds that are holding the islands up, yeah? WP, someone new to Guild Wars 2, and seeing your guild hall... Made me realise how barren your hall is. Oh, that's uh, that's unfortunate. But hey, scribing is more accessible now than it ever has been before. It's only getting better. The only time better to start is today than today was yesterday. So I think what, what was that line? I can't remember. Let's get rid of that there. Let's not put those there. Nor that platform over there. I don't know what was going on over here, but I'm gonna I'm basically gonna check this tree and make sure that all the stuff people did. All the decoration and global cap they wasted climbing this tree is deleted. Because we only need one way up. Like, all of this is just a waste to, to place all this stuff here. It's all a complete waste. We can build stuff around the tree, but, you know, like, not as a method of getting out of the hall. So, like, random essence like this. We have so few essence. Please don't place random essence down in, in places like this. Because it's just going to get lost. And it would be much better to be, you know, up at the bulk of where we're decorating, you know. So it strikes me that someone tried to build their way up here, maybe, or something. And wasted a bunch of decorations in the area. 
I don't see any more. So we, we were on 2,000 in the sky. 2,000. It's going to be amazing, guys. Do you think we'll protect Jormag from Bram next episode? It's a great idea, right? That Bram's going to, like, try and beat him up and he'll inadvertently, you know, wake him up early or something. Yeah, Bram, Bram will be, like, the next patch, definitely, right? Works with the whole crack in the ice thing. Which he was last time. So there we go. So this is good, right? So we have used one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight decorations here. Arguably, these eight we don't need, but oh, come on. It's for, it's for the funsy. It's to make sure that people actually know stuff's going on in the hall. By making people pick this up and then coming to this, they realize, oh, something's happening, right? And then they know. Otherwise, it's just going to look like the hall's empty for those that miss this stream and, and so on and so on. And so on. And so now we climb. So these seem pretty well spaced out here. This one seems pretty well spaced out as well. Yeah, and we get the third essence right on cue. That's good. So let me... Um... We're now out of, we're out of essence, guys. So if you want to buy more, if you want more essence, please do consider it at Draconis Mons, the Mariner's Landing Waypoint. That's where you go, and there's a vendor there that sells more for the guild that you're currently repping when you when you pick it up. So we'll delete these. I've got to be really careful not to delete his precious uh, rec room platforms right now. So I'll just try and use single target delete where I can. So we'll reclaim all of these wedges, and these wedges can be used, like I say, for like snowy hills and things up, up there. Have a good night in Inverdanon, Dan. There is a note on the signpost saying to Waypoint if you don't have the mastery. I put that on the one at the very bottom. I already did that. So, this one doesn't seem right. Like, can this one be higher, maybe? Oh! Will this work? Please work, please work, please work, please work. Oh, it worked! Oh, I've never felt so rewarded in my life. Like, look, we could have a platform all the way up there and it would work. I mean, Christ almighty, look at this. The range on this is mental. Look at that. So this could be, you know, a couple of notches higher, really. Um, and then that one. So I, I'm, I, since I don't see Dioc around, I'm going to try and take over here. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this now. So this could be... Where was it we latched onto? It was about there, right? So we can stretch the gap a bit more. Like, the fewer of these jumps that people have to do, the better. So, rec room floor. Uh, what do we do? We want to pull it out from, like... Shit, that is not rec room floor. <gasps> we made it. So it was, like, here, I think, is where we could reach. Oh, he's deleting it as we go. Wow, that teamwork. That's pretty good. All right, there you go. All right, so I'll try that out now. So basically, we, we fall down. We grab the essence. I hit my head. All right, so it, it's the right height. It just needs to be slightly over, right? That's all it is. It just needs to be like... And maybe he knows how to do that. So that oh, God. It got deleted right as I was trying to latch on. Oh, that guy made it. But, I mean, we want it to be as easy as possible. So, yeah, he's moving it. He's moving it to the side. WP, I hope that the last living season map is a gigantic glacier island that you have to make your way up like Draconis Mons. And then in the middle, you have a path descending down that goes super deep into a sort of tangled depth, but descending really deep into the glacier. That's a very cool idea. Like a, a, a heavy amount of verticality in like a pure like ice map. That would be really cool. I like the sound of that. That's very interesting. That's a nice sounding map. I mean, and the environment artist did such a good job on uh, Bitter Frost Frontier. I've got high hopes for this next one. I don't know, unless it's, it's not the same environment artist every time, right? Each Living World crew has a different one. All right, that's good. So then this one obviously can be a lot higher. This one can be like... Basically where this wedge is, right? 
Yeah. Oh, and he's already identified it. What a legend. This guy's good. He's a good little decorator, this guy. Diok, well done. Wow. He figured it out straight away. I hope you'll be able to kill Balthazar next expansion. Um, and after you kill him, you'll take his place and then kill Cormir for snatching up your good godhood in Nightfall. Really? Well, you have very high hopes. You don't own the guild, so WP, so it was an eye-opener to see what a larger guild can achieve. You don't have a single guild? Really? Oh, you you ain't seen nothing. You ain't, like, the best thing we ever did was the forest one in the Lost Precipice. It looked so good. It completely revamped the way that that map looked. Um, it's such a shame that the Super Adventure Book platforms take up aspects of local cap. Because if you could just lay a ground somewhere and then put a, for a full forest on, just like we did in that theme, oh, it'd be amazing. It'd be so cool. But you can't, you know, unfortunately, you can't really do that. So then the next one is like, like, again, we can skip this. And he knows already. All right, I'll just let him do that. That's fine. I'll let him do that. All right, guys, let's build an island. He knows what he's doing. And he's just going to keep going and going and going as efficiently as possible. So it's, it's going to be in total maybe 20 decorations to get people all the way out, which is brilliant. Um, so where do we go from here? This is interesting. What's going on with the SAV platform under that? I kind of want to delete it, but I think that that might be a terrible idea because what if it deletes all the rest? And obviously it's their project. This is cool though. So they've got, they've made like a bowl with a, with a fountain in the middle. I mean, it doesn't, I mean, he's obviously struggling with local cap here. This is cool. Very interesting. I almost wonder whether it would have been better to not have the Winter Island in instantly there. I reckon the, the more interesting themes, like the stronger themes, the better ones to explore to. Like like a, a, like the Winter's Day one. Oh, or like a Halloween one. I feel like those should be further aflung, like so it's really rewarding to, to get far away. Do you know what I mean? Um, but so if we're going to build an island, I want to build one, like I said, that has... Uh, let's build a Pine Forest Island, right? And let's build it. What is going on here? Who did that? Oh, this is someone on... So you notice that this is random stuff's happening here. That's because someone is on EU right now, standing here. You're not seeing everyone in the hall. Someone's on EU, and they're uh, they're fiddling about. This uh, sad platform is used for scaffolding. Yeah, yeah. Uh, has he just deleted it, and he's never bringing it back? Quite sure what that is. Well, that's fine. All right, so there's no islands. There's that island over there is just way too cool. It's way too far away and it's really high. It's brilliant. I love it. There's a cool building over there as well. Tons of stuff going on over there. Um, well, look, let, let's climb down. Let's have a look here, guys, right? Let's prototype something, shall we? So. I'm going to go, like, here, this is flat. This is fairly, no, it's not flat enough. It's not big enough. Where's a cool place to, like, there's a really flat open space. I mean, that desert's pretty good. This is, this is all right here, I guess. All right, so the idea would be, like, our pine thing would be, like, like this. We're, the point is we're just going to lift it up and put it in the sky. Shit, look, look at how few platforms we've got now. 16, that's all that's left in storage? 16, really? Where the hell have they all gone? Really? We only have 16 left? We've placed 300 platforms in the sky already? No, I haven't seen 300 platforms in the sky. What? We own 275 and we only have 16 left. How? What is going on there? Oh, maybe I can't build an island then. Well, imagine that there was a thing, right? Like, you could easily just, like, dump... Oh, no, 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 not those. Ooh, that's good. Like, tons of these. These are actually fairly expensive, too. But I really like these trees. These are very cool. You could build a maze. Uh, these, you know, literally like the SAB maze that you get in-game, right? You could do a, dupe, a copy of the real SAB maze using these pine trees. They look so weird on this, like, graphics quality. Next expansion, new guild hall is just an empty zone. Uh, 
Put your decoration without global cap and we won't invest time to create it. That's a cool idea, right? They literally, like, you could do this, but it would have to all be on islands. So, wow. So, I'm sorry. In the space of a single stream, we've nearly used up our entire store of, of platforms. 300 platforms covers a vast distance. 300 platforms is, like, massive. Let me just show you, right? These 17, if you put 17 down and you properly tessellate them, right? A 17 platform island, right? is bigger than where we're currently stood, right? Like, if you really think about it. Like, that's just four. Or is that five? Four, right? So, a four by four, one, right? Which would be 12 in total, not even the full 17. That's a massive floating island. You're telling me we've placed 200 and, like, 50 of these down already? No. How? That's mental. Oh, we have to go up and look, because obviously that's crazy. What you really want to see is the next living story patch is for Arena to show what happens to Survivor at the end of the Heart of Thorns. I also hope the new map is somewhere between Tangle Depths and Metrica Province. That would be a huge map. Yeah, I really, really, really think just like... I, I've never really, you know, identified with people who are like, Oh, my OCD, my OCD, about this, that, or whatever, right? I think it's kind of stupid. But if I ever had an OCD about something, it's that Heart of Thorns, the jungle expansion, doesn't give us this clear area of the world. We need this. Come on, give this to us. And I really want this as well, for what it's worth. Or maybe even this deserves to be filled in. Please, give this to us. I mean, one day this will probably be a thing. Lake Regent as well would be really interesting. Interestingly, Lake Regent comes out of the back of Balthazar, and since Balthazar's in the story now, that would be kind of cool, right? Um... But yeah. Hey WP, you still thinking about making a video about the Lagos? Uh, maybe. It's definitely not high on the priority list, though. Oh. Oh. There we go. You need a raid loca raid map location? You think that that's where a raid map will be? Oh, there's so many places there could be raid maps. I don't care if it's a raid map or a regular map. If anything, I prefer it when they're raid maps because, like, you get a real explore in the world. You get a sense of exploring the world when it's a raid map that you just don't get through any other type of map. It's like the difference between how fun exploring Guild Wars 1 was in campaign missions versus how fun it was exploring um, in, you know, just the regular maps. And I always felt like there was a, a greater sense of progression and exploration in, in the campaign missions. So, he's he's done here now, right? So, I'll delete more of these wedges, I guess. Will you single target delete? This is looking good. What do you think of the several plot twists in the new episode? Warhol 4. That's, uh, that's a question that could set me off for hours and hours and hours. I think I've already done, like, two hours of discussion on YouTube about just the first couple of them. It's really not the kind of thing I could just go off on a whim. But I think some of them are good. Some of them are kind of weird. Generally, I'm happy with how it went. Uh, let's delete that one as well. And now we got to go down to get the next Oka Essence. And now we go up. That feels good. Oof. Oh, there it is. Almost didn't see it for a second. The only problem with going up the light shaft is it kind of hurts your vision a little bit. But there we go. We're up. And now it's transparently night. Should we... I'll climb to this one before deleting more of them. He's doing good. I like it, Diok. Oh, beauty. What a beauty. The efficiency that Okai Essence has afforded the Gilded Hollow. So has Timey been crowned the ultimate genius among the Asura yet? No, I'm, I'm sure that that will be, if not next expansion, it will be next Living World episode. Um, next Living World season, sorry. Next episode. Next episode, she's just going to save the world by killing Kraukatoric instantly and the Deep Sea Dragon instantly. And they're going to justify it because she's tired. She's been working really hard and she's tired, guys. I mean, they were in the personal story, but they didn't seem to say anything about them, not even their race's name. What do you mean? What, Lagos? Well, clearly they said their name. So here is that one there. Efficient enough? I guess so, probably. Seem seems like it. That one can definitely be higher, right? That one could be way higher. That one can be coming off of this wedge here. Oh, I hit my head. But yeah, we can we can go up to that one. What's going on here as well? This is interesting. So where are 200 platforms? Come on. 
I do not see 200 platforms. I see maybe 30 at a push in that. Why is this here? Guys, don't dump shit like this. What is that? Um, oh, unless someone was marking something way above. No, I don't think so. Um, sorry, if you guys are trying to join the guild, you can't join the guild right now. Um, I'll go through any applications later, but there's only two spaces. Blame ArenaNet, not me. They're the ones that have given it a 500 member cap. I would love to get more of you in. I'd love to take your money, but I kind of can't at the moment. Are you trolling Terabio? What? Why the time he hates? She's a sickly child. What kind of messed up person hates her? Well, see, the, the fundamental mistake you're making there is that she's not a sickly child. She's not actually real. Her problems and her... Uh, oh is actually fake and constructed and you can have a problem with it when it's uh, you know something that people decided to give to her that the character needed that to be interested if she was real maybe you could question you know people being derisive of her but she's not real i know that's quite the mind blow to you all right here we go please 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 okay we're up have you read the leaks you spelt leaks wrong People who want characters to fail so badly that it compels a horror event for it to have any validity. People who want characters to fail so badly that it compels a horrible event for it to have any validity. What do you mean by that? Does if does anyone know if or when World vs World server links change? No, I, I really don't know. I, I can even if you if you if you put a gun to my head and said tell me about you know the the good server links versus the bad ones or whatever or what they would need to do I would not be able to answer intelligently. Don't you dare tell me Guild Wars 2 isn't real. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's my bad. All right. 300 platforms. I want to see them. Here we go. Let's do it. Uh, where's the next essence? I guess it's... It's got to be on one of these platforms, surely. Oh, there it is. This one here. Okay. Hmm. Stay away. WP, you read leaks like clouds or tea leaves to tell the future, WP. Yeah, Deimos. The thing is, there are different valid pronunciations of Deimos. Demos, Deimos, Dimos. At the end of the day, I don't really care enough, and I don't think anyone else should either. As long as people know what you're talking about when you say it, then you're just being picky. Good. All right, there we go. And that's the transition. That's the skybox transition right there. Yeah, this should definitely be like this area here should definitely be like the central area. We should have like lots of islands around this where people come up. Like right now, lots of people have done islands all the way over there. We need more to fill in over here, right? This is a bit weird. This is this being lower than the other things a bit odd. But that's interesting. He's doing tessellating very well. Good job, Groot. This is very difficult to do. I like, you can tell that they're like clipping into it. Uh, what is that? That's called Zed fighting, is it? That's what they know it as in the Skyrim community anyway. All right. So from here, though, well, we need like essence, don't we? Is this going to be like an essence, big essence platform? We, we need like a large island here. That's what we need. This needs to be like, you know, ground zero. This needs to be, hi, y you've made it. This is the, the first island of many. I'm just going to wing it and glide. So this is the top of the tree here. So we got that island down there. This is huge. This is this is crazy. I don't know what to do. Maybe this theme won't work then if we've already run out of platforms. I mean, what do we do? This is not 200 though. How many is that there? That's quite a few. I must be honest. But it's not that many. Do we really need like thousands of platforms to make this work? The thing is, it's super adventure clouds to do it. Like, I don't know how to get more of those anymore. Because the, the, the festival isn't up. So what are we supposed to do? Wait a whole year before we can try this again? This is pretty cool. Oh, I like it. This is very interesting. Oh, and the flag at the top. This is cool. The Z-axis is a myth. There are three dimensions. There's just no proven way to say that this one is the first one and that is the second and so on. Isn't that fairly arbitrary of a distinction to make anyway? It's not about a de declaration of what's first and second, is it? It's just a way of... 
identifying a difference. This is a cool island over here as well. I, I mean, maybe we just got to ask, guys. We've got to be really careful with these platforms. Like this guy here, how much space has he actually gained out of this one platform? Barely any. There's jade here. There's gold here. This, like, this is not... But I suppose I shouldn't come in on my high horse. We're going to run out of stuff eventually. Where was that crazy place? Like a million mark. This is cool, though. Look at this. This is really nice. Look at this. Wow. He's even got, like, some clocks and stuff down. I'm impressed. This is nice. And a gravestone. Welcome to the Wizard's Tower. The interior designer had big dreams. However, local cap exists. Created by Utah Blimp. Ah. Oh. Well, look. There's probably, like, a perfect design for an island that then gives you the absolute maximum freedom above it. You've just got to find out what that perfect design is. Like, that's the thing, right? How do we get back from this island now? We have three essence. Those are too high, aren't they? Those are way too high. Oh, what's going on over here? Oh, we're talking about vectors and maths in chat. This is where I'm, uh, you know, getting way out of my depth, way out of my territory here. Oh, this is very pretty. Oh, look, this is an island without even relying on any of the big blocks. This is purely like a water island and a fountain island. Yeah, I was going to say, and you know what you should do here? You should put a corticus thing. Because what this means is from underneath this, it's now going to look like it's raining. This is very cool. Oh, you're trying to make clouds. Oh, for underneath it? Interesting. This is very impressive. And it's not even done yet. You're going to do clouds? I like this. This is cool. All right. Maybe every island should have essence. I don't know. I, I'm really trying to resist the temptation of building some grand orchestrated jumping puzzle kind of thing. Here you go. Clouds underneath on this one now. Nice, nice. Local cap again. You can feel the punish. Probably punishing this guy. This is quite a low island. But hey, this brings us back to the uh, the main place, right? Oh! Let me up, 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 let me up. Oh, I did not target that. Shit. We gotta go down now. Here we go. Okay, is, uh, is this good for deletion now? I guess it probably is. I mean, that's still not very efficient, this next one here. But, alright, fine. It's good for deletion. So, let's, let's climb down here. Because this is where the essence is. Throw the essence away. Single target delete. In 3D programming, the depth map can also be named the Z buffer. You brush your teeth and look in the mirror. Why? What? That's the weirdest, like, chat I think I've ever randomly come back to look at. Uh, anyway, I, I want to say as well, by the way, guys, thanks for coming along. I know that this isn't really what you're expecting when you want to watch an MMA stream or whatever, but I appreciate you guys coming and hanging out and just decompressing with me and chilling, and it's cool easy. Try shadow mapping and you'll understand it. Alright, there we go. Oh, maybe Diok wasn't happy with this. He is still moving around. Maybe he is. Alright, where I really want to go is to that crazy island a million light years away. Where is it? I don't even see it anymore. Where was it? Is it that island over there? Was that what it was? Are we going right to the height map here now? Is that what we're doing? We're just going to keep climbing and go all the way to the very top? Probably a good idea, because from the very top you can glide, right? Like, far away. Oh, that was pretty. Seeing that change? That was really pretty. We're in space, guys! Woo! Let's keep going. Why not? Can we connect Okar Essence onto the skybox? Could you imagine that onto the top? Or is this the very high? How much higher can we climb from here? There it is. There's that house. That's crazy. It's so high up. It's so high and so far away and so remote. What I want is like a secret, like, hidden route to that place that's really hard to figure out. It'll like blow your mind to get to it. Reminds me of like playing Spyro. We're so high. Let's keep climbing though. How much higher can we go? Yeah, let's just keep going. Uh, I'll, I'll go with wedges here. Sorry to break your thing here. There you go. Look, we've reclaimed tons of them. We've got 67 now. Oh. So, I'm going to put the wedge. Hopefully, I don't swallow him.
There you go. This is the top here. So if we put the, the mast... What is the tallest decoration in Guild Wars 2, I wonder? What is it? Um, it's not a gold wall, is it? Mast? Mast pole? Oh, the globe. Yeah, yeah, that's a good point. The globe, the globe, the globe. This is gonna... Oh, what? Where, where are all of these? Who has placed ten globes of whispers down? I don't understand. There's something that I'm not seeing here. Has someone got some giant fucking continent they've built somewhere with ten globes of whispers on it and 200 super platforms and it's just a million miles away and I have no idea where it is. Like, seriously, what's going on? Oh, Queek, thank you. I played through the first part of Chukun Champa Wark Collection based on your recommendation. It was an excellent bit of content. Keep up the good work. It's fun to binge on your videos after coming back to Guild Wars 2 after too many months. So, uh, after many months. Thanks so much, Craig. Thank you. Thank you so much for the, uh, what I guess is $10. Thank you very much. That's really, really awesome of you. And yeah, the third collection is pretty good too. You think that someone is spamming decorations somewhere we can't see? That would be really unfortunate and really sad if that was true. Well, let's just see, shall we? Let's see what's, um... And, I mean, if that is happening, that's why... So, with the other themes, we tried to do stuff like this. But people did troll, and people did delete stuff, and people did throw... And I always thought a lot more of the Spud community than that. I always thought we were better. I always thought that, you know, we, we, we were a little bit more, you know, respective... Um, uh, respectable? Respected one another more, is what I'm trying to say. Uh, but people did start trolling, and so I, I kind of had to be Mr. Mean Guy, and I had to, I revoked everyone's decoration uh, permissions uh, unless you opted in just to stop it from happening, which was really sad and really unfortunate. That I had to do it. I might have to do it again here. I, I don't know. Um, I think we need more oak high essence, probably. This is a cool little platform. So this is like local cap. This is as much as you can do, right? So you've got the island, and then you've got a bunch of plants you can put on here. It would be cool to have tons of islands like this, you know. I just don't understand. I don't understand where the... Where 200 platforms are. How, I mean, how is that even a thing? Oh, it's very cool using Okart Essence to move into the new Skybox area. It's very cool. Oh, we need more. See, I like these, right? Like, I like, um... Like, let me just... Just to explain something. You see here we've got a super platform just randomly placed. This isn't anything. This is just a platform for Essence. I like using the mountain, the floating mountain, for Essence instead. In fact, look, I'm going to do something creative here. I'm going to do something. Here we go. So basically, what we're going to do is we're going to go storage. We're going to open this up, right? Here's what we're going to do. We're going to go super. We're going to grab the mountain. We've spent 200 mountains as well. Where is all this stuff? 200 mountains have been placed? Oh, man, this is frustrating. All right, so then what we're going to do is we're going to put a mountain here, right? <laughs> We're going to delete the essence. This is so crazy. How do I... Alright, the only way to do this then is to... Oh shit, I got bumped under it. That's bad. That's bad, guys. This is not good. Rip. Abort. How am I inside this? Abort. Fine. We have to... We have to delete all now. Shit. All right, and now we've got no like frame, so we're gonna have to come from here. Here we go. As long as I don't use W A S and D, we we'll, we will not fall. I know it's a bit scary. We will not fall though. It's good. We will accomplish what I'm trying to accomplish here. Someone says I found the platforms west of. All right, hold on. Now let me. Now I'm the the platform spammer. So we go this way. I mean, if people really want to contribute to this theme, you can find super clouds. We need to buy lots of clouds. All right, so then basically what I wanted to do was I wanted to delete that essence. Basically, I want to put like one mountain. 
And then another mountain on top and like... Maybe there looks best. All right. And then what we do is we we delete what we're stood on, right? And we place some clouds to hold it up, you see? So we go cloud there, cloud there. Please, God, no! Oh, why? And I don't have any essence, no! And then we were going to put essence on it. And that's like an island, right? Like that's... That's a nice little random floating island that, uh, you know. It's so weird that I can't, like. And that looks good. And then, and then that could be a little refiller for essence. It's a completely different experience from Dagger Dagger. Dagger Pistol you've known before. They said that I wouldn't fall down if I didn't look down and then I died. <laughs> Alright, so hold on. Where, where are all these platforms then? I found all the super platforms west. Also, all the globes are stashed in a corner. All the globes are stashed in a corner, are they? Alright, so listen, it could be someone trolling, or it's someone who's taken all the globes, hid them in a corner, because they want to use them later, and they don't want someone else to snatch them up first. Basically, they're being selfish and nicking them. Um, so, I won't remove their globes for now, because, you know, like, that idea of reserving decorations is, is fine, I guess. But um, if they stay there forever, I will, uh, I'll delete them. After this stream, no one will be able to decorate again anyway. So if someone is, hee hee, I'm chowling and, you know, being some, some idiot, uh, they're not going to be allowed, allowed to do it anymore afterwards anyway. So uh, it's fine. I'll, le I'll leave them there for now, though. All right. Uh, so where was the way up? We got an essence there and a, and, a, and a weird bridge someone's tried to build. That's interesting, I suppose. Um... Where's the way that we had originally climbed up? I don't know. Here, maybe? Oh, I never picked up an essence. Shit. I thought I had an essence. No. Oh. All right. Let's just go to the bottom and then climb up again. Let's do that. What's this here? Uh, hi, WP. I tuned into your stream for the first time yesterday, and it got me interested in playing Guild Wars 2 again. You only played for a month in early 2013. Everything is confusing and new, and I have no idea what I'm doing, but I'm having a lot of fun doing so. I just wanted to tune in again, and thank you for captivating my interest, causing me to have an MMO to enjoy again. That's really lovely. Thanks. I seem to remember yesterday's stream was just me whining about balance. Uh, that's really cool. Thanks very much. I hope you are enjoying it. I think it's a great game, and it's had a lot of updates, and people deserve to be reminded of it, you know? Because it is a different game. Like, you played it for a month in 2013. Um, you know, if those were, like, the Flame Frost days, this game's totally different to that now. I would be an excellent bridge salesman. What well, was I very unenthusiastic when I mentioned the bridge there? Looks like this is some kind of bridge. <laughs> Alright, let's just climb back up, shall we? They should release a super adventure box themed map next April. Are you saying a super adventure guild hall? Or are you saying it should be a... Oh, and I'll tell you something else we should do, guys, as well. Sorry about all this climbing. I know some of you probably don't want to watch me climbing up every time. But the other thing I kind of want to do is let's go to the tavern. Let's add some good music. Because right now, I don't think we have any. It's a bit poo. So should we have SAB music rolling? Oh yeah, I can't think of anything more suited. Especially considering this is the, the like the snowy mountain music as well, right? Oh, it's good. What's my favorite track in Guild Wars 2? There's a lot of contenders. Probably the one that I've got the best story about is the one that plays at the start of all my streams, which I've told many times. It was my first, ex it was when the client had first downloaded and I'd been asleep while it was downloading. And uh, I turned it on and it was just on character select. And that track was playing. And I was just so excited and enthusiastic and thrilled. It was, it was just brilliant. It was an incredible experience. Since it's just a chill stream, I won't make much of it. But if that people trolling is really a problem, the solution is simple. You just make so people need to tell someone in charge of the items they're using and all else will be deleted. 
Uh, yeah, I mean, that's crazy micromanagement, though, that I'm not sure we're really capable of. It's not fun to micromanage people to that level, nor is it fun to be micromanaged. I don't like the idea of, of sour apple spoiling everything. The chance that someone is trolling right now is fairly low. Um, I want to see where the platforms are, though, the 200 platforms. And, I mean, it's a pretty shit troll anyway, because all we have to do is just wipe the hall, and there you go, it's done. Oh, woohoo! I ruined one little Guild Wars 2 stream. Hee hee me. You know, like, I don't think anyone really can. And you have to be a member of the guild to do that. Um, I don't think we really have people who are, who are acting that way. So, yeah, I don't know what we're doing here from, with Charson. But, like, having this here. Maybe I should do... Torvia is doing an island. The thing is, I want this to be, like, a welcome area. Maybe Tor maybe I'll let w Torvia do this. I want this to be, like, a really grand, nice place. Could, does someone want to lead me to where, you know, this giant continent is? Where is the, the giant continent of, of Super Islands? Oh, is that it down there? Is that it? Maybe we go this way? Always been a fan of the factions, OSC, and Overture from uh, Ivan Off as well. Yeah, yeah, definitely. There's a lot of um, faction stuff that's really incredible. Visit the little house up there. You want me to visit the house? I can't even see it anymore. Let's see. Are we on Ultra? We are on Ultra. I can't see it. I'm going to glide this way because I see something over here. It looks like a jade wave. During the day, this place really looks like SAB. Yeah, I mean, when you get high enough, right? I mean, sunrise. Look at it. Oh, it's beautiful. It's awesome. We're, we're flying pretty far away right now, guys. Beautiful. Oh man, I. Uh, well, the thing that this is inspired by the the art, that Asian image that inspires oh, so many things in the world. I uh, I was looking. It's called Kanagawa or something. I committed it to memory the other day, and it's just occurred to me that I don't remember what it is anymore. So this is an EU person decorating here. They can't see us. We're like a ghost, but they are decorating. That that just got placed. So yeah, someone is here. It's just on EU. Hey fellas, how are we doing? Hope you had a good weekend. I've been a bit miserable, honestly. I'm not a very happy man at the moment, but uh, yeah, it's been an okay weekend. I've enjoyed the stream today. Been cool. There you go, the Great Wave at Kangawa. Kangawa, is that it? I'll let him build his island. I'm curious to see, guys, you can do this over the week, and I'm curious to see how uh, how this changes and adapts, and uh, you know, it'll be cool. we could do a tour of it um, on one of the streams next week, right? And see how it feels. Maybe WP could make a Mario Let's Play, Sab fandom. Oh, I'd love to, like, just do tons of random blind LPs of different things. Yeah, you can build islands. Technically, you've always been able to build islands. It's just, you know, the SAB stuff's made it easier. Okar Essence has made things easier. All that stuff's made things easier. It is very tempting to make some kind of goal, isn't it? Like, some place to go to. That's why I say, like, the theme, like, the snow island. Imagine if the snow island was miles away, right? Oh, there's that house, right? That's the house up there, isn't it? Let's keep climbing. Strikes me the SAB tracks end quite quickly. Or maybe it's that my music interval's a bit... Oh, it's that when you're in the sky, it turns the music off. Does it turn the music off when you're in the sky? That's a shame, because this is where it gets most super adventure boxy. All right, we're gonna try and get to that house. I like the idea of it being like really remote and really difficult to get to. So how do we get to that house, right? We have to like glide and we have from as high as we can and then we have to like hook shot under it, right? That has to be how we do it. Maybe, do you think that island's closer? Which island's closer, where we're currently stood or from over there? Maybe over there is closer. Let's go to where Groot is. We already visited that island. Oh, the helicopters! Oh, that's amazing. Yes, helicopters. Yes, that's brilliant. Oh, and just put random clouds around, guys, as well, right? Like, um... Like, here, I I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it, right? Like, what's a good scaffold? Because the platforms... Oh, wow, 250 platforms we just got back? What happened? Was someone just dumping them? 230 more super platforms are available, says Diok. Oh, that makes me sad. I think that might have been someone was trolling then, and Diok found them and just got rid of them. Basically, someone just dumped these somewhere, like underwater or something. And then we had to just go delete them all. 
I thought that these were being used meaningfully. That makes me really sad if some twat came and just did that. I'm really disappointed if, if that is true. They weren't being used in any meaningful way. There's lots of valuable stuff that's just been stashed in the corner. Oh. That's sad. That, that, that. Uh, well, I guess we'll just have to be a bit stricter about who can decorate then. After the stream's over, we'll, uh, we'll turn it off for everyone or something. I don't know. It's such a shame because one person, literally one person could just ruin it for 500. Do you know what I mean? Like, I'll accept people can stash stuff to the side a little bit, just, you know, um, uh, to, to reserve them from later. I'll, I'll accept that. Like, t to an extent, that's perfectly reasonable. But, um, I don't know, man. That many? You can't put 250 platforms to the side and think that that's okay. Not unless you're, like, 13 years old. And you wouldn't be right. Do you think haters join the guild just to mess your plans up? No, I really don't. That's the weird thing about it. I don't know. It's fine. We don't have to get bogged down anyway. It's probably just uh, fanning the flames. This is a chill stream. We're going to keep it as a chill stream. So basically what I'm trying to do here, right, is we're going to come out over here and... Oh, God. I don't know where I put that there, but it's a long way away. So we're going to come and put this over here. The music's not too loud, is it, guys? No, there's, there's no history menu. It's kind of one of the issues with guild halls, I suppose. All right, so here, and what we're going to do is we're just going to make a cloud, a, a little cloud island. We're going to, you know, we'll put some... Put one higher up. Well, we'll keep them lower down here first. Like, I think, I think this is cool, right? Like... Like a, a nice little homunculus cloud, right? That's what they are, right? Is that that's the type of cloud, homunculus, right? Isn't it? <laughs> is it? Or is, is that something else? So okay. And then like it might look like a little bit of a mess, but then we we get rid of the platform that's underneath. Plop an eye cart essence on it if we could, if we had any left. And there you go. Then you just got a nice little cloud out there, right? Just a happy little cloud, like Bob Ross would do. And then we move on. Uh, what do you have to do to get back in the guild? I had donated, but I haven't been able to play in ages due to family stuff. You'd like to get back in? Yeah, I think you were kicked very recently, but you'd been offline for like three months. The thing is, you, you can't you can't expect to be in an active guild. Please don't donate if you think you're going to be going AFK. All you have to do is just do the same thing you did last time to get in. And if you go really inactive again, you'll get kicked again. And if you want to come back, then you can come back. We don't have a blacklist, right? Like... Getting kicked for once doesn't doesn't mean anything. I love the little Bob Ross uh, emotes on, on Twitter, uh, Twitter on Twitch now. Yeah, this is cool. Like all these. I wonder whether the, what do you guys think about the snow piles as clouds? It's interesting as an idea, isn't it? This is cool. Yeah, look at all the clouds that are dotted around. That's a nice little idea as well. Imagine just tons of these all over, right? Like just loads of them dotted around. I mean, we've got a thousand. This is cool. And they could just keep expanding, right? I want loads of clouds like that, like right where we start, you know, where we first climb up, which is, where do we first climb up? I'm a little bit lost, actually. Shouldn't it be like, it's left, isn't it? It's over here. This is where we first climb up. Happy little potatoes. <laughs> yeah, I liked your working dress. Yeah, it was cool. It was good. Oh, I love this music. This, this part of SAB music's great. You know what? I might have been uh, I might have been wrong to remove the Okart essence that was once upon a time here. This would be quite nice to to, to maintain. Wow! What? Whoa! Okay, two two things happened there. One, I died. Two, there's an updraft all the way up here. Did you guys just see that? That's not an updraft, is it? The devs never did anything anticipating people would be up here. Did I just see an updraft up here? That's not an updraft, is it? How do you trigger that? That's like a, a gilded... It's fake, says Flaganti. The updraft doesn't work. Wow! So what, once upon a time the devs had thought to maybe do them up here, but they disabled them. 
And so sometimes the graphics bug out. It's a fake up draft. I think it's present when you're t taking the guild hall, but not any other time. It sometimes shows up, but it's not a real one. Wow, that blows my mind. That's really cool. That's crazy. So they did anticipate on some level that people might come up this high. That is crazy. That's totally wild. It doesn't work. Wow, it seems a lot of people knew about it. I did not know about that. Yeah, so let's read this. It says, uh, those without the mastery use another waypoint. There you go. Look to the skies. I wonder if we should have a more grandiose way up. What do you guys think? I don't know. Maybe the signpost is enough. Did you ever think to do a song list where people can request, request songs that you can then play? Yeah, but uh, two things. One, copyright issues. Two, uh, I kind of... The reason I don't do face cam, or initially the reason I didn't do face cam, now I don't do it because it's more of a gimmick, right? Um, I, I I also don't do it because I do have a, the very strong belief. I, I believe, honestly, that unless you're, like, incredibly attractive, doing face cam, and I mean, like, really attractive, doing face cam isn't actually very beneficial to a YouTube channel. And I would call myself decidedly average in the looks department, so I don't feel any real compelling reason to do it. But also because it's just like a, uh, you know, it's a gimmick now. But the reason I originally decided not to do face cam when I first started on YouTube, uh, the reason I originally did it was because I wanted to always put the game on a platform. I always wanted it to be more about the game than me as a personality. And I kind of don't agree with that so much anymore. I think you do have to be a bit of a personality now. But um, those kind of early feelings I had about that, I still kind of feel are true. And I find myself when I'm on Twitch, when I'm watching streams, I prefer the streams where they... Even if I like the music they play, like Nike's stream, right? Like, I'll occasionally go on Nike's stream. Nike plays a lot of music I used to really enjoy as a teenager, and I get very nostalgic about. Nearly always, whenever I go to a Nike stream, I'm like, oh, yeah. Like, it, it, all kinds of bands that he plays on there. And I like that, but I tend to find that more than anything else, I enjoy streams where they're just playing the actual game audio. Especially if it's like a nostalgia kick for me. Like, if I'm watching, like, a an old Final Fantasy or, like, Tomb Raider 1 or something... Um, on, on a stream like watching speedruns, I like the people who just play the games music, the games audio, because it's got the, that big nostalgia factor and that big kick. And uh, while Guild Wars 2 is a contemporary game, I think it is it is important that I, I do that. So I like to keep the game sound effects and the games volumes and things up. Um, that's why I went to the efforts of implementing this ducking recently as well, because I I like that if I stop talking. You should- oh, there's fucking nothing to listen to right now. You should be able to hear the game, though. You should be able to hear the helicopters and blah, blah, blah. I really want to play some helicopters around. I think that idea with the helicopters is so cool. I think it's so cool. It's really awesome. I mean, this floating globe is interesting. I mean, putting clouds under it to have it flying might be cool as well. So, yeah, like, for all those reasons, uh, that's why you won't see me, you know, I won't be playing, like, TBS on, on one of my, uh, my, my, my streams or anything. Uh, put the game on the platform. Let people listen to and look at the game and enjoy the game, right? Like, I am still a big believer in that. Even to this day. The problem with all of this is every time you want to decorate, you have to get rid of... So here you'll notice we're, we're capped, right? Because the platforms are too small. Oh, balloons are a great idea as well! Balloons are a brilliant idea! I think my cloud looks a bit poo. I don't like my cloud. I don't know. It looks a bit ugly. They should be more spread out or something. There should be other ones near it, shouldn't there? Let's do it this way. Let's try something else, right? I'm going to try another another tactic here. Again, Jerky, you may have just sent me a mail, but we don't have any space to get people in the Spud Club right now, as I've said many times already on the stream. So uh, I will go through it. Uh, if not tonight, tomorrow night. I've got a couple of things I need to do after the stream's over today, so... Uh, Flaganti says advertise the lottery. Yeah, so we are doing another lottery, guys. We gave away how many? 10,000 ectos last time, was it? What was the grand prize ball? If you want to win three, 1,386 ectos, quite a lot of ectos. If you want to win those, um, uh, check out, uh, the lottery by clicking the link in chat right now. Okay, so here what we've done. This might look like an atrocious mess, guys, but trust me, it, it all makes sense in a second. So what, what we've done, right, is we've sort of just like, this is our base coat, right? Think of this as our base layer of coat for our paint, right? And now what we're going to do is, um, we'll put that one in here. 
So I think there's an interesting like aesthetic to this. I think that there's like something good about this. Like even even this might be a good floating island. You know, is it so bad if this cracks under it, if you put the occasional cloud? But my idea here, right, is what I'm going to do is I'm going to go cloud. Oh, it doesn't turn the music off if you get too high. It's just that I've got a big interval. And now what we're going to do is we're generally just going to... I'm going to put some happy little clouds around, guys. And they're going to be bobbing around. Maybe, uh, maybe that guy's got a partner. Maybe, maybe these are two happy little married clouds there. Look at that happy little cloud over there. Happy little cloud over there. Happy little cloud over here. Let me put one over here. It's going to be a little bit more of a storm cloud right here. There we go. Isn't that nice now? Maybe we're going to rotate this cloud. It's going to look a little bit different. Maybe, Maybe over here we're going to enjoy a little bit more blue sky, but there will be a, there will be a, a cloud nonetheless. This is kind of a big cloud, so he's kind of scaring off a lot of the, the smaller little ones. So maybe there's just a couple of them. Then we'll put some, uh, some clouds here. Maybe this fella sits right in the middle. And, uh, and now that we're local capped, we're going to get rid of the, uh, the platforms. And look, we got our, we got our cloud cover, bitches. I'm gonna jump onto that before getting rid of this. Um, there we go. <clears throat> How do you feel about a piece of decoration that creates an updraft? I think that'd be really cool. I think there's a lot of like mechanical kind of decorations that we could that we could definitely benefit from in this game. There you go. So now there's some like clouds, right? And uh, maybe we. Maybe we, we, we keep this up. Maybe we do a little bit more over here. I mean, there are if there's any decoration you can kind of spam, it's sort of these, right? So maybe we'll... Uh, but but I kind of want there to be a bigger height difference now, right? So maybe, maybe we build these platforms, but we deliberately go max height. We slowly creep these up as much as possible. Let's make a pancake, right? Like that, right? <clears throat> and then... Oh, that's not going to work. And I knew that wasn't going to work. No, right? Oh. It's okay. Look, the, the route up is just over here. It's not very far away. Looks like it's shaping up to be overcast. And here I was hoping to go to the beach today. Are you talking about real world or are you talking about in the game? Oh, look, we did it for an entire day cycle, guys. Wow. Time really flies decorating, doesn't it? I, I feel like times move very, very quickly. Is this? I, I always feel vaguely aware that people seem to be bored by decoration content in the Guild Wars 2. Series. But I like this, man. I don't know. I enjoy it. I, I have fun. Uh, where were we? Whee! There we go. We're up. I, I, I literally... Oh, it was over there, right? Okay, good, good, good. Yeah, imagine this, right? But all around here. Imagine that, right? That's what I want you to picture. That's what I'm going to try and build. 15 minutes left till it's your birthday. Oh, oh, in your time zone, maybe. Yeah, I mean, it's two hours. For me. That's weird to think about. I'm, I try not to think about it until the day actually arrives. Man. Oh. There we go. 1,000 clouds still. So anyway, now that we're, now that we're up here, what I want to do is I want to actually I wanna delete. Not these ones that are lower down. And now we're going to spread out from here, basically. <clears throat> anyone got any questions while I do this? Because I'll be kind of on autopilot for this next bit. If anyone wants to go into anything. Yeah, it's a guild hall. I never got too much into hall decorating. It's just very overwhelming with the switch here. Quantity of objects you can put. Yeah, but that's what's fun about it, right? Like, that's what's what the magic is of guild halls. All right, so now we're here. Maybe I'll make the clouds a little bit less dense. On this next sec section. So we'll... Uh... Oh, there's a cat running around with us. That's hilarious. Oh, man, that should be a rule. On decoration stuff like this, it should be a rule that everyone has to be... You know, they, they have to be in, in some kind of tonic. So you have to be a Kodan or you have to be, you know, Kodan in the sky kind of thing. Um, so what I'm going to try and do, sort of, 
Oh, do you know what might look really amazing? Imagine, guys, a giant circle. Imagine, like, these clouds here. Imagine that they circle in a huge ring around the the, cent the bit where you climb up. And they're like, and, and so, and then what you do is you have clouds, and the clouds are actually, instead of looking random and kind of messy, what you do is you have the clouds look like this. It's kind of two rows, a bit like the, the rings of Saturn, you can imagine, right? So it'd be like this, and it goes in a gi huge, giant ring, like a ring of smoke, a ring of mist, a ring of clouds. You get what I mean? Like in a really, like in a really like beautiful formula. Like this would be like the arc. Do you get what I mean? And it goes all the way around, like, for way out in the sky, like a giant ring of clouds. Do you get what I mean? How cool would that be? A giant cloud circle. How come Twitch didn't send me a notification when WP started streaming? If it weren't for YouTube, I wouldn't know. Is it a subscriber-only feature? No, if you follow me, it will, um... It will send you a notification, I think. Which Super Adventure assets would I like to see as decorations? Oh, there's loads, man. There are tons. Do you know one thing I would love to see? Um... As like an ultra prestige one that's very difficult to get but is quite dramatic when you've got it. I would love to see that cage that the boss that you break to fight the boss. I'd love to be able to place those cages around. Maybe there can be like a little doorway in and out of the cage or something. But I'd love to be able to have, just have those big cages and put... I think you could do some interesting stuff with those. Because they're kind of, you know, they're very big and they're, you know... Um, there's tons of uh, different SAB de things that, that would be really lovely to use. So maybe I'll just try it, right? Let's, let's see. Let's first build the... First, so the first job then here would be to do the platforms. Do the big ring of platforms. So what I'll do... So that's the entrance over there, right? So basically we, we, we're going to have to... See, this is going to interfere with that guy's work though. Because we're about on the same level as that dude. Well, maybe, maybe it won't be a big, big problem. I'm going to use this platform here as kind of my reference point. Or the globe is, could be... Well, maybe we could... Should we go around the outside maybe a bit more? This is slowly going to creep up. It's going to slope up with the way that I'm doing this. Yeah, so you guys see what I mean, right? 200 of these. It's insane to think that... Um... This is unfortunate. We need to be higher. We need to be higher. If this is going to work, we need to be higher. The whole thing needs to be up or lower. Maybe lower is a better idea. Do you think lower, guys? Giant ring... Yeah, let's do it lower. Because if, if that globe is at the very top, then, you know, we're really quite high up here. So let's... Uh, here, here, here's what we're going to do. I'll keep those clouds there. I'm, I'm fairly proud of those clouds. So we'll keep those. But that happy little area there can, can stay. Right? We'll delete all of these. Because you could make a continent up here. You really could. In some ways, I'm really sad that someone just hit all of these. In other ways, I'm really happy because it means we do have the freedom to do some badass stuff. Okay, so what what we'll do is we'll do the ring. Yeah, definitely. Hmm. We'll do the ring from like... The next platform up. And I'll tell you why the next platform up. Because that's right where the skybox changes, right? Oh, that's... Is that really out of range? Oof, that is that is pretty pretty fucking good there, Dioc. All right, so unfortunately that's there. So if we want a ring of clouds, so we were slightly too high there with those. Maybe we should delete those. Hmm. Here's what we'll do. Oh, no, that's okay. It's just this person's work. We could go. Or because it's like exactly where I'd want it. We'll go slightly lower then. We'll go slightly lower. Oh, so if we want to go slightly lower, it's probably better to work our way from this platform up, right? So let's expand. No, we picked up essence again. So let's expand out here. And then here. And then here. Grab that. Delete. Careful to that person. Delete. Right. And now we go wedge. It's interesting to me. No one's built any islands made of made of wedges. You could totally build islands made of wedges, couldn't you? Like one interesting um, concept, by the way, is like you could do this. You could go. 
Uh, wedge. Fine, like that. And then wedge like that. And then wedge like that. I'm doing this messily, but you get what I mean. Hopefully you see where this is going. And then wedge like this, right? Without burying ourselves. Oh, God. Oh, God. Wrong button. So, and then you go like wedge like this, right? And you have that floating and you could attach clouds around the outside of it or whatever to hold it up. Like that's maybe something you could do. I don't know. I'm not very good at this stuff, as you guys know. I think it goes hand in hand with my failures at Fashion Wars 2. Increase intervals. Oh, the music intervals? Shorter. Oh, no, you want to increase it. You want to listen to the music for longer, yeah? Let's go highest quality as well. There you go. All right. So, uh, no, 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 no. So let's delete this. And now we're going to climb up, right? So now we're going to go um, to about the halfway point between this essence and that, that platform over there. So we're gonna we're gonna be about. We want to comfortably go under this guy's island. It's about about here, I think. Here 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 is where we want to be. So all of that scaffolding that led to this now we can kind of delete, right? Uh, all those people are gonna get stuck if they're not. I, Come to the tip, guys. I'll wait for stream delay. They have to come to the tip, otherwise this is going to be awful. They're not going to be able to get up. Um, intervals should be set to short to listen to more music. I thought long intervals meant... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Intervals. It's the interval length, not the song length. There you go. That person came to the tip. All right. Screw it. The other guys had more than enough time. Okay, so... Um, so... Now, basically, if we assume that this is the thing, now we, we want to basically walk out to about where that guy's island is. A little bit further, I think. Still. There we go. Alright. Uh, interval shorter. There you go. That should play the music much quicker now. All right, and now what we do is maybe it's just that the SAB Guildhall songs are really short, so it like kind of shows. All right, so now we can delete all of this, which is obviously ugly and we don't really care about. All right, um, and we can also delete the stuff that led us to here. Ah, oh, I knocked that guy off. I'm so sorry. I swear there's some mini games you can do with that. It's like that Minecraft thing, right? Okay, so now the ring. Are we far enough out, do you think? Or should we go a little? No, I think we're far enough out. So now we're going to do a big ass ring around. Around that. That's going to be our reference point, right? So we're going to. And it will, it will be kind of weird. It will like spiral oddly because every time I place one of these, I'm doing it lazily. I think that's going too sheer, isn't it, really? Let's go like this. And then once once we've established like our full ring, what I'll do is I'll do like a little prototype bit here. All right, so you guys get the picture and now it's gonna, it's gonna start. It's gonna start curving, right, like this. I think I just placed a platform a million miles away on the ground over there. Right, so it'd be like this, right? Now, once... Oh, it's a bit weird. That's almost like a right angle I've done there. But then, what we'll do after that is we'll go cloud. And we'll go left, right. Left. Right, and it doesn't have to be immaculate. I don't like perfectly orderly. Like, maybe we could go right, right. You know what I mean? And then, after we're done with that, we'll delete the platforms in the middle, and we'll kind of have our our orbit or whatever. You guys, you guys see? 
Uh, what mechanic from another game, not strictly MMO, would I like in Guild Wars 2? Mechanic from another game. I don't know, Guild Wars 2 has been so broad in all the different things that it's done, right? Like, I mean, and you could go for wild things and be like, Oh, I'd love to be able to sit in chairs. Or I'd love to be able to climb ladders. But ultimately, they're not really that important, right? Am I going to play Iso Morrowind when it comes out? Maybe. Um, I, I don't know how, how I feel about getting into Iso right now. It depends if uh, when I start LPing and playing um, uh, the main series Elder Scrolls stuff. Maybe maybe if one day everyone really likes it, maybe eventually I'll exhaust uh, everything I have to say about it. And then I'll get into Iso, yeah. Might be cool. Yeah, libraries, codexes, that's a great idea. Yeah, I've talked about that before. Yeah, I think that that's probably the best answer for that. This feel about right, guys? Or am I doing this a bit wrong? Maybe. Maybe it's it's cur curving too sh too too hard. It's not uh, basically with the, the rate that is currently c circling, it's going to be more of an ellipse. I mean, f maybe you can't blame me for not being able to do a perfect circle. All right, so now, now that we've done that, because of the whole height issue, right? Because we're higher up here. I'm going to go to the other side. Which will mean that when it connects, that's the top. That's the peak. If you get what I mean. Instead of... Uh, this is so crazy. Look at this. Look at this. This is cool, right? This is very cool. Yeah, so they meet, instead of it being like, you know... I mean, maybe it's okay because they're just going to be floating clouds. Maybe it would be okay to do it the other way. but Or maybe it would look prettier to do it. Can you imagine if, if you made this circle big enough, guys... It would just be like a steady, like, I don't know. I don't want it to, I don't want it to be like a staircase. I don't think. Now who's wasting the platforms? Well, these are all going to get deleted and then bundled in a tiny corner where no one can see them. All right. So we want to like, if the idea is to circle the way up, we got to like push on out now. Over here. And besides, even with all of these places, we still have 200 in stock. We're not even. This is uh, this is 199 now. There. Doesn't feel like we're gonna meet it in time, does it? Go further out, I think. Gonna be very round, guys. I'm trying. I'm trying to not go too hard. I'm trying to not go too sheer. Those guys look so cool in the background over there. Doesn't that look good? There's sometimes this game is really beautiful. I think I've uh, messed this up a bit. It shouldn't be too apparent though by the end. Because this is basically going to a tip. It's going to like shift really hard. Oh, a resub from Pollution15. Thank you, WPWP. Thank you very much. Wow, look, it's actually, this isn't too bad. I think we're like two, maybe three platforms earlier than we should be. No? Look at that! Oh! Mwah, perfection! It is perfecto! Oh yeah, baby! This is like, now we do races. Now this is a running court. This is the 1500 meters here. For doing four laps. This is gonna be good background footage for videos. I don't do stream footage for background footage. This is... If you're at a stream, then you get it beautifully, purely at the stream, baby. Oh yeah. Alright. Okay, so now we do the clouds and we delete the platforms after, I suppose. So, I mean, we didn't quite ring it. The whole thing needs to, like, sh move over. Can we just, you know, control A and, you know, clip it a few points to the left, please? 
But it's okay though. Alright, so now we just do clouds. I don't know how dense this should look. I think the denser it looks, the worse it will look. Probably. Because it will just look like... You know... It, it, I don't think it will look good if it's all too dense. But if it's too spread out, it probably won't look very good either. Should I do them in the middle as well? Like, instead of purely on the edges, should there be one like that sometimes? Oh, uh, yeah, I think I should do that, right? It'd be nice to have more height variation between them as well. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go in the middle man again over there. There we go. From above, this looks like a giant lemon. From above or from below? Oh, well, I guess it is green, right? <laughs> Feel like you're in dragon stand oh you see that's the idea right like that's what it should feel like and look this is this is you know we can have an island this size guys we can fill in the middle here and have an island this size and then try and put like you know super trees and things on it this isn't even yeah like this right this isn't even efficiently done right like, you could delete half of these platforms, and it would still be a coherent ring. I'm gonna have to delete this, though. Cause, yeah, okay, of course. I'm it's always weird when the boss music comes on here. Put the clouds under the platform, too. Well, you might think that that would create a big difference in the height, but it actually doesn't. It wouldn't really be... It wouldn't look that different... I'm gonna do something a bit weird. Is this guy trying to trap me from EU, basically? This guy on the other... Uh, I'm gonna try and do something a bit odd here. I'm gonna try and, like... I'm gonna try and do that, and then one out there. Do you think that that would look good at the end, with just the one there? Or do you think that would look a bit weird? Maybe we'll, maybe we'll put one there as well. Alright, woof! Half of it done. Gee, look how huge this is. This is cool. <laughs> I wonder what everyone else's projects are looking like. This is a major project we've just suddenly taken on. Have I played Undertale? No. It's one of those things that I feel like I, I, I missed and really shouldn't have missed. Probably should have given myself the credit of actually playing it. Oh, these ones will be a bit denser, I think, here. Yeah, no, no, no. It's like a race course. Look. They've done the two things there, so it's like a race course. That's funny. Alright, so now we're coming down. You took a screenshot of the lemon and put it in the Discord. Yeah, by the way, guys, you can all go check that out. Um, if one of the mods pings Discord for me. Uh, I'll, I'll ping it. So if you guys go to Discord there, um, you don't need an account or anything to, to look at the things we talk about or to talk yourself. So you can see the whole lemon idea. Uh, I'm going to delete these now, though, because they're going to be fiddly to get rid of later, and they might interfere with local cap. Oh, that looks so good. Did you see the Oakheart Essence there? Like, who doesn't love this, man? Come on. Uh, maybe we should do a couple more in the middle. Like, rare ones in the middle. I hope this looks good in the end. If this looks ugly in the end, it's going to be a real pain to clean up. By the way, the whole, you know, this is multiplayer. Obviously, if I was in TeamSpeak with someone else decorating, you know, you could have one guy doing the, pa the platforms in the middle, another guy doing the inner ring of clouds, another guy doing the outer ring of clouds, and the last guy deleting the panels, and you could just move around as a team at basically the same speed you're looking at me going. Oh, they got me. <laughs> oh, but they cheated. They used the, the globe. That's not fair. Um, you can, uh, they, you, you, you could do it, at, you know, quite the speed. Uh, and not just TeamSpeak, but Discord as well, by the way. So, you know, we've got voice channels there. Have I played Thimbleweed Park? No, I haven't either played that. Alright. What's going to really worry me here is I'm going to see this, and it's not going to look like two separate rings. It's going to look like just one big ring. And what's going to freak me out uh, is the idea that then I'll be inspired to do another Halo, like, in the middle. 
Look at that! Oh. You know what? If that was the right aspect ratio, that's a bit of a screenshot right there. Quite a flood of people. Oh, oh, uh, uh, in Discord. People want to see the lemon, do they? Yeah, like, Discord's great, guys. You don't need, like... I, if I'm ever at a stream and people are like, click a link, do something, I never want to do it because I'm like, oh, I have to get an account or I have to download something or blah, blah, blah. No, this is just like, it's just a web page. You can open in your browser. You don't need an account. You don't need to email verify or anything. You can just go in and do it. Probably the best thing about Discord. It's the main reason why I think really I took to it, which is now two years old as well, by the way. Discord. Our server is two years old. What are my three pl most played games? Well, if you count this and GW1 together, um, they're, then they're definitely at the top. I've never played another game more than I've played these. Um, as a franchise, I've spent a long time in Final Fantasy as well. I don't know, I could look at my, my Steam notices. Alright, well there you go. So that's that done. Shall we see what it looks like when we delete these now? Just anyone in chat, does anyone have any feedback for me before I do this? Because after we delete the platforms, that's it. So we will see. I see no, I see no feedback yet, but there's probably stream delay right now. Look at the clouds over here as well. This is good. Keep the platforms. Keep them? What? Why? Please don't delete the platforms, oh my god, what are you talking about? Balloons? Oh, helicopters and balloons would be nice, but I think they should be in the middle. What do you mean keep the platforms? No, the platforms aren't, it was no, the platforms are just scaffolding. The idea was to have clouds. Like a cloud structure that looks like a, a circle. Make it a weapon of mass destruction and call it a halo. They look super neat, lose the lemon. Oh, we're conflicted here guys, we're conflicted. Here, let's straw poll this. I did not think this would be a straw poll stream. Here, we haven't straw polled for ages either. Hold on. Twitch, you get to decide if we have the platforms or not. Until I go against democracy here. Like, this looks like a big build, but I don't know whether it's actually pretty with the platforms here. All right, here you go, guys. Straw poll it up. Click the link in straw poll. Tell and and vote away, and we'll see what the results are. What people want? Do they want the lemon or not? I don't think the lemon looks good. Oh, that, oh my God! There's a lot of votes coming in. Uh, wow, uh, it's it's pretty decisively delete them right now, guys. 65% to 37. They're wrestling. A lot more people think keep them than I was expecting though. I think delete them's winning guys. Delete them is winning. Yeah, okay. We're well over 100 votes now and 60% and to delete. Sorry to the keepers. But hey, look, you can do your own builds as well, you know. As long as it's not blatantly against the spirit of the floating islands, I'm not going to delete what people do. Rigged. Why was it rigged? It is rigged to an extent. If uh, if I say a preference for something, then it's kind of... But just to point something out to people, right? Like, if I delete the middle one, it's still pretty much the lemon. But now I've got more that I can do for local cap. And I've got more, uh, you know, uh, less platforms have been taken out of storage, right? So, you know, if you can get these to perfectly tessellate, I just don't know a good technique for this. That's why in my review I for decorations, I said, look, edge-to-edge -edge placement would be amazing. Oh, this is good. I like it. I like it, guys. It's looking decent. I think the clouds are looking just about right. Look, it's still, you can still race as well, right? It's just a jumping puzzle race now. Oh, we got the scary haunted forest music now. Look at what the skybox is doing as we transition. That's so weird. Oh my god, look, we're so perfectly at the transition that the lower part of the ring didn't have the skybox and the higher part does. How crazy is that? I didn't realize that that was going on as we built this. We've got to be very careful not to delete any clouds, any precious clouds. Oh no! Oh god. Can I delete as I fly? I can't. It's okay, we've got more essence here. Thank you. 
This is the equivalent of in a Bob Ross thing where he's like, where he just paints a tree right on the background and everyone's like, ruined! And then it ends up looking good anyway, you know? It's essentially what this is. Look, I can just stand here and do it. Oh, what's with the pumpkins? No, we don't want pumpkins on this. What are you doing? Why would you put random pumpkins around? What's going on here? Yeah, there we go. Oh, we're doing it as a team. Good. On what world do random floating pl pumpkins work among the clouds? Yeah, it's a bit of an ellipse, guys. Um, there you go. We we did it. We did it, Twitch. Woo! What do you what do you think? <laughs> oh my God. Oh why? Oh, okay. That was really dickish. Whoever deleted that there. That was really douchey, because that was what Dioc made, and that's a part of the way up, and that's going to be a pain in the ass to fix. Whoever deleted that, I know you're listening to the stream right now, whoever deleted that, it's your job to replace that. Without fail, without question, your job to replace that. Because that's re Unless it was Dioc himself, Dioc is, is here, maybe he's repositioning stuff. gliding around and, and lagging and it looks like he's hacking. Oh, flying around with the super glider is such a cool thing to do right now. <laughs> Take the pitchforks. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> That's cool, though. Oh, we still got so far left. We've got so many more decorations we can do. Alright, so what I want next is how many more helicopters we have. I'm going to charcopters. Charcopters. We've got 15. So I want to put a couple of charcopters around. Um, maybe a bit higher. Look, we're sculpting the airscape, guys. It's not landscape sculpting. It's the airscape, all right? So anyway, we need a bit of scaffolding to get out and up. So we'll go... They can replace Deox platform using my thing as well. So... Oh, no, no, no. It's someone in EU, right? Like, look at the magic platforms moving along. I swear there's a mini game in this. People on EU doing stuff while other people do stuff on NA. There's got to be a mini game in that. It's so cool. All right, so now we're like up here, right? We need a real, real light touch with the helicopters. The helicopters have to be placed just around enough, you know? Just enough to, to make the sky feel busy and interesting, but not too many. And we uh, we don't have too many uh, helicopters either, so we've got to be careful with them. Balloons will be quite interesting too. Uh, in fact, I'm going to go make some as well. Oh, this stream's going to get on way too long. What time is it? Oh, it's already quarter past. Shit. Oh, okay. We're gonna have to stop. Not, not right now. I'm gonna do the helicopters and then I'll stop. I wanna put like, maybe we'll just put one here. Oh, I think someone used the mastery thing there and missed because I deleted the platform. Uh, char. So like, we'll put, we'll put a copter there, right? I think that's a good place for a helicopter. That's all right. And then we'll delete this. <laughs> Sorry. See, all those together? Do we like that? I suppose it's okay. Alright, okay, and so the last thing as well. I just want to show you guys an, a branch of scribing I've never really done much of, but we can we can have some funsies with here. Uh, calm down, guys. Put the tridents away. They will only hurt you. And people, uh, you know, where are the torches? Yeah, time does pass quick when decorating. I feel like it does anyway. Maybe it doesn't translate into viewing material. You love how you can vine grab the helicopters. Can you? That sounds awesome as well. Being able to vine grab those. Uh, whoa. I thought it was a describing session. Okay, this way. Oh, I never deleted those. Sorry, my bad. Those pine trees can be used to make a wonderful floating continent of pine. And we got the, the, other, the other super trees as well. Got plenty of those. Again, guys, I've spent thousands in prep for this, so uh, do go nuts with it. I want to see islands full of those trees. I want to see people do it, because otherwise it's going to feel like a huge waste. All right, so balloon. I don't know whether you guys know about this, but, like, this is the cheapest area of scribing anyone can really do, because it doesn't take kits. This is the one type of decoration that consistently doesn't need kits, right? So it's literally just have white balloons, and then put them with pigment, and then thread, and that's it. 
and you can get all the different core balloons. And then you can bundle balloons together to make those. And then you can put all the bundles of balloons together to make the massive balloon bouquets. The massive balloon bouquets are massive, right? So what I'm going to do... Oh, we only have eight gold left. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn all these gems into gold now, and we're gonna do this purely balloons. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna spend. This is, this is Wooden Potato's credit card here is going on balloons for this theme. So there we go. We're gonna, we're gonna spend 400 gold on balloons. All right, there we go. Okay. So uh, let's go this way. This game has many different modes. This is what an MMO is about in Endgame. And it's just Rage a nightmare for to, to handle as devs, I guess, right? Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to buy... We're going to go to the basic to collection vendor. This is all the way over here. Does the guild hall make people crash? Law like it crashing. We were crashing when we were in a squad, but leaving the squad fixed it. So I don't know what to say. All right, so we're going to buy these. Ready? Double click time, baby. And we're going to buy these till we're down to about... Uh, 200 gold, I think, probably, somewhere around there. Something like that. You're still in the original squad and you've not crashed? Yeah, I'm not saying that everyone in the squad crashed. I'm saying that I crashed when I was in the squad. I mean, we've got the evidence on footage. And it has happened before where leaving a squad has stopped me from crashing, too. So, squad does have something to do with it. Just maybe not for everyone. No, I'm actually using... This is my painted, patented two-finger technique, guys. For the double clicking. WP, can't you edit the... Uh, not for decorations. It doesn't work for decorations, so no. But I appreciate the, uh, the advice. If you enable mouse keys through Windows, you can use NumPad Plus as a double click. Well, that's an interesting idea. My fingers actually hurt now. Hold on. Yeah, I'm now using five fingers at once. Oh my god. Guys, guys, you'd best be trolling me. Why is it I can never come to this vendor without so many people saying, Ah, you, you type it in, type it in. You can't type it in. It doesn't work, people. I've already explained this a million times. Ah. Find scroll wheel to double click. Yeah, that's another option. Ah, <laughs> uh, type in the number. I swear to God, bands will be thrown apart, thrown out. Bands will be thrown out. All right. Okay. This is a lot of balloons. Let's stop at three hundred. All right, there you go. That's that's a lot of balloons we've done there. So let's look at our storage now, right? Um, so six of them made it into my inventory. We'll get rid of those. So let's see here. Uh, storage, decoration. Right, so we've got 600 balloons here, yeah? So my goal is to make more massive balloon bundles, of which we've only got four in the entire hall right now. The first guild thing I ever saw that really impressed me goes credit to uh, an old friend of mine called Brom. He showed me his guild hall, and he even did the scribe at the time, where he just spammed balloons of all varieties all over the hall, and it looked amazing. Um, and so I kind of want to do something similar here. So... Let's make 75 of each of the core varieties first. So we'll make 75 fuchsia. Wait, is that too many? No, that's fine, right? 75 times 6 is not over 700, is it? So 75 of those. 75 of these. Oh shit, they might, yeah, they all have to go through the assembly, so you're not going to see it in the stream, sadly. But I'm going to make loads of massive balloon bouquets, and we'll have those floating around in the sky as well. I, I wonder if there's anything else as well. If you guys have more ideas of, like, cool things that should, that you want scribed specifically for this, just let me know. Here you go, so 75 of these. And then 
75 purple. 75 red and 75 yellow. And then we'll combine them into the bundles. And then the bundles combine into the massive bouquets. It's 450. Yeah. It, all, all that mattered was that it wasn't higher than 600. Because 600 was our limit of white balloons. And presumably people might like to place white balloons around as well. So, Do you think Jormag went to sleep also? Was it confirmed? Vaguely in the patch. Sure, yeah. You want a Canthan Guildhall? Well, maybe if we get a Canthan expansion one day. Sure. Could be a thing. And then 75 yellow balloons. So that assembly is going to be running for a long time now. Like a long time. But basically you combine these basic balloons. Okay. Into bundles. So I'm going to make one fun bundle. I'm going to make one festive bundle. And I'm going to make one cheery bundle. Which is two of you know each type of balloon. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come to the assembly here just to show you guys what the whole crafting thing's like, right? And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in the assembly, which is the festive bundle. And then we're going to take that out. And we're going to put the this into the assembly and this into the assembly. All right. Come on, fun bundle. There we go. All right, and we're going to bump those up the queue so that they come through. So, <clears throat> here's what it looks like in total. So, you got a cherry bundle, right? Which is literally just bigger. It's just, you know, it, it's literally what you get. You're actually gaining balloons. No, no, you're losing balloons. But yeah, so like you've got these bundles here, right? And then when you combine these, and this is what a regular balloon looks like, right? And then you can combine when you've got one of each. So we're waiting for the fun balloon bundle to come in now, which should come in next. And once you've combined them all together, you can make a massive one, right? You see this here? So you'll watch. The assembly will process the fun one. It will become available as a decoration. And then I can spend all of them together with some gossamer thread and get a massive bouquet. Unless someone just already dumped it down. That should have come out already. No, there's the fun bundle. There you go. I think someone moved it on the list or something. So it wasn't coming through. There you go. So massive balloon bouquet. We craft that. Before anyone drops them. And then we put the bouquet into the processing. And the, the massive bouquet is, is truly quite quite large, right? So um, the, the, the list, the, the basically the progression goes like this. You've got a standard balloon, coloured, bundles of coloured balloons becomes this. Bundles of bundles. So this is goes uh, it goes white into red and then red combines with some other colours to get this bundle. And then the, the big bundle... Wait for it. <laughs> Come on. I really want to go back to the assembly to look, but I know it's just going to be almost finished. It's like when you're in combat and you're trying to waypoint and you're in combat and you're in combat and it won't let you waypoint, it won't let you waypoint, and then finally you leave the map. Oh. There you go. So now this is what the massive one looks like. It's huge, right? Look at that. Look at that thing. It's massive. Right? So there's all kinds of fun things you can do with this. Um, like, for example, you could... I don't know, have a fancy wagon floating in the sky attached to balloons and it's like the balloons have floated it into the sky, right? And you can have that just bobbing around up there. You could do tons of different things, guys. Tons of them. Um, anyway, so we've got hundreds of balloons to put through the processing. Uh, that will go on throughout tonight and then I'll make some massive balloon bundles and stuff. And uh, yeah, the, so... Um, I'll let people freely decorate for another hour or two after I leave now because I'm gonna have to close down the stream Unfortunately guys, but uh, you will be able to continue building on this theme after an hour or two 
I'm going to close it off and then it's only people who want to keep building for it that will be allowed to from that point on. And I'll figure that out with the GMs uh, in a little meeting we're going to do in a second. And, uh, and that's, that's, uh, that's what we'll do there. And, um, and sometime next week, in next week's streams, I'll show you guys what the theme's looking like once everyone's done. Way up in the sky uh, where, you know, uh, where you'd never expect. I thought someone had placed a tree decoration down here for a second, but they, that was just a tonic. It's amazing, like, you could just be a tree flying around. Or a tentacle or whatever. And so, uh, so yeah, uh, thanks very much, guys, for the chill stream. Um, thanks for the, the... I can't believe people donated to me because it's the day before my birthday. Thank you very much. I will be back tomorrow. Another year older. Uh, we'll probably be back to the Legendary Hunt at that point. Or maybe we'll do some more Flashpoint stuff. Who knows? That could be funsies. Uh, there will be uh, more Guild Wars uh, up on the channel tonight. Um, probably a video with me and Boots that I've been waiting to post for a long ass time, so we'll finally put it up. There's some kind of jumping puzzle based thing. Um, and there should be a lore video going up tomorrow as well, so, uh, as well as the stream, but I'll oh, well, we at that point when, when, when we reach it. Oh, that's cool having the hollows up there. That was a nice idea. Whoa, we almost didn't make it on that. Oh, that's very, very high. And one final essence at the very top. Ah, oh! well, there you go, guys. The uh, floating islands. Oh, those mushrooms look really good. The floating islands. This would be cool. I love the design of this island. If this island just kept growing and getting bigger and bigger, imagine an entire continent that was that kind of thing up in the sky. I think whoever built this over here, this is beautiful. I think this is exactly what I wanted to see. And like just, just bigger, like bigger and more of them all over the place. I think that's incredible. We've had some really nice stuff. Look, there's some forests and things and stuff, guys. Well, we'll see how it looks next week. If you guys want to join in and any of that good stuff, uh, you know where to find us. Check out the Discord. Have a good night, everyone. Thanks so much uh, for coming along to the stream. Uh, I'll save a host for tomorrow when we've got even more people to bomb on someone. Um, but yeah, if you want to watch some more Guild Wars streams, of course you are here on Twitch. You are welcome to go and enjoy. Thanks very much for watching, guys. I shouldn't have streamed this late, honestly. The GMs are waiting. And, uh, and yeah, so uh, thanks everybody. Have a good night, and I will see you tomorrow. Have a good one, guys.